Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Good morning, Crocodilies. Happy Friday, weekend vibes all across the board. It's so exciting to see you all this morning on this beautiful Friday here at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida, the alligator capital of the world. Now, that is our moniker, but we also have crocodiles. And so overwhelmingly, what people wanted to see in this last episode of Spring Break School of Croc is crocodiles. And more specifically, Lyle the Nile Crocodile, who's behind me right now. If you notice, I keep checking my back. It's because I don't want Lyle to jump up here and get me. So we're going to do a little feeding with Lyle and his girlfriend, Delilah. Um, but first, as always, here and ready to go is our superintendent, Mr. Brandon Fisher. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Friday. It's a great day here. We are checking out Lyle, like Savannah said, and he's one of the best, and I can't wait he for y'all to see he him. Is. How big do you think Lyle is? Oh, man. He, you know, listen, when, when we first got him, when he was first here, he was he was one of the smaller Nile crocodiles uh -huh. we had. And over the last few years, he has just grown exponentially. Like huge. he exploded. Like, he's probably bigger than Sultan, I believe. I oh, really way do. bigger than Sultan. Big time. So, I think he's bigger than Dundee. Maybe 14 and a half, getting close to 15 feet long. Maybe. maybe. But check it out right here, and we'll get to see what you guys think about how big Lyle the Nile Crocodile is. He's over here with Magic Mike Heilman. If you watch our morning, vlogs, you know morning, who Magic morning. Mike Heilman is. He is, what, what's your title, Mike? I'm a park director. Oh, uh, what does that mean? That means I get to play with all the animals when I want. <laughs> That's what that means. So this is Mike's first school of croc that he's done with us this year because he's been very busy doing other stuff. It is breeding season here, so we're getting all of our crocodiles and alligators ready for that. Um, are you going to feed him? You're going gonna... to feed him his breakfast? Yeah, we're going to get him I'm up here on the nice grass. I'm trying to keep cameraman Dan from getting eaten. Thank we're you, bring Savannah. Him up here on the grass. Big shout out to Finn. Finn says he really likes it when I scare you. Oh, thanks, Finn. And, and that, and that you and I are, that Finn and I are like the same person. Oh, great. <laughs> thanks, Finn. Appreciate that. Look at so that listen, crocodile. So listen, if you all have questions, start asking your questions. But keep in mind that I am operating the camera and trying not to get eaten by crocodiles. So just keep asking your question until I see it. So Lyle is a Nile crocodile, and tell us all about Lyle, Mike Heilman. Uh, Lyle's relatively young. He's probably about maybe 25, 30 years old. He's pushing about 14 feet. Now the average lifespan, 60, 70, maybe even 80, 90 years old. It's kind of like people. Uh, and they grow that whole time. The record for one of these things is 21 feet. So he's got a long way to go. But in a couple years, he's probably going to be the biggest thing Gatorland has. The way he eats. Whoa, oh, he's on that <laughs> no, Lyle. Oh, oh no, Lyle. So Kevin wants to know what, what's longer, the alligators or the crocodiles? Uh, the crocodiles have the potential to be longer. The record length for an alligator is 19 feet 2 inches, which is very big also. But crocodiles can get up to be 23 feet long, like the saltwater crocodiles. So remember a long time ago when we did a school of croc and we were doing measurements and we had uh, one of... <laughs> And we had Donnie lay down next to one of our leucistic alligators to see how long they were. I, I have this idea that I think Mike Heilman should lay alongside L Lyle. My, Mike what? Heilman is not laying next to, to Lyle the crocodile. But I think if you did, we'd be able to see how big Lyle actually is. It wouldn't give you perspective because I'd be bitten half. Well, <laughs> what if, what if, you know something, Savannah, I've noticed that if you're back there, there's nobody really protecting me. So I'm just going to point that out. So. Yeah, well, Brandon's <laughs> back there, but he's not oh. really paying attention. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon's, Brandon's got chicken. Too. Safety yes, shark. shark. And I think I'm safety sorry. shark said safety no go shark. to Mike laying next to Lyle. So I agree. here's what I think. I think if we put a stick right now where it, it, I straighten his tail, I think we might be able to get a measurement on Lyle right now. Unschooled school prep. First time we ever did that. Oh, my gosh. Straight, try straightening his tail, see if he doesn't move. I don't know. I'm trying to be safe. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of a curve, but less, less than there was. Wow. Mark his tail. Nice catch. 
So we are actually seeing you live on camera getting a measurement. Scoot over this way, so. there, yeah, there's yeah. a little swerve. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, well, it's not going to be like down to the half inch. But now, Crystal wants to know how much do you think Lyle weighs? Uh, I bet you he's eight, nine hundred pounds. Eight Easily. or nine hundred pounds. Yeah, maybe pushing a thousand. I oh mean, he's kind of, kind of girthy. He wow. likes to eat a lot. I can relate. <laughs> I can relate. Um, so Lyle is a big crocodile, and we do love Lyle here. Um, see if, if, what do you think? Um, he is definitely over four yards. So what's the yard? There's three feet in the yard. That'd be, so 12, that'd, be, that'd be 12 that'd feet. Be 12. He's, at, he's at the minimum 12 and a half, 13. He's probably close to the 14 mark. Close right, to well, 14 he's, feet. Yes. He's taking a lot of deep breaths. So I don't know, Mike, if you could grab cameraman Dan maybe and bring him in this direction so he could see, see Lyle's girlfriend, Delilah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, me, let me get him okay. pointed this way, son. Hey, bud. Come on, cameraman Dan. All right. So oh, there is. There Brandon is escorting me past the crocodile <laughs> over here. All right, so see right out there in the water, cameraman Dan? I see. That's Delilah. Okay. Hey there, Delilah. <laughs> and Brandon's gonna That's feed song. Delilah so you guys can see Delilah eat out there. Now it is breeding season, so Delilah needs to eat a little more than she normally does. But Delilah, to be fair, likes to eat a bunch anyways. So let's see what that little alligator's gonna do. Oh, nope, she got it. She got it. Oh, I was on my mark with the toss. Yeah, that was a good toss. That was a really good toss. Look at that. Look at her just chomp. take it down whole and just <laughs> tilt that head back and swallow it down. Now, last year we got a bunch of Nile crocodile babies from Lulu, who's one of our other Nile crocodiles. If you haven't met Lulu or Blondie or Sultan, they are in lots of our Gatorland vlogs. And that's on our YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel actually fuels our conservation arm. Whoop, they're frisky this morning. Oh. Alligators stole the food. Look at that. Wait, 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 go back, go back. Yep. Okay, watch this little one. This little one's been up here all morning. That little alligator right there. Mm -hmm. And I think she's hungry, Brandon. You wanna feed her? I ain't got no food on me. Uh-oh. Oh, get some. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little one. Here, let me hold this for a second. All right, Savannah's I'm gonna try to do the it. camera. Little one. Little one. Little one, here. Do you want to have the food, this one? Yeah. Little one. Here we go. I don't know her name. You guys might want to think of a name for this little one. Because I know everybody likes to name them. Wow. Go ahead. Yeah, get it. Oh, little girl. She's too slow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, little girl. Want to try her again, Brandon? Delilah's under the water over there. She's creeping. Oh, look, he got it. That one over there did. Okay, All right, get the again. little girl. Poor little girl. Here you go, girl. Run! Run! Get out of there! Uh-oh, here comes Delilah. I feel like a sports broadcaster right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's that. go back over here to Lyle. And, you know, I think what we should do today, uh, Cameraman Dan, is, you know, get some awesome comments from our guests and stuff like that. Don't scare him away. We need him after this. Isaiah has a question. Okay, Isaiah. Isaiah wants to know how lawn care works over in this area. They uh, don't. We're lawn care. <laughs> You're lawn care. So do you actually come over here and you have to mow the lawn yeah. and, and watch for the gators So that's the thing. Throughout the park, the people that are trained to work with the animals have to do all the other stuff. They have to clean. They have to mow. They have to fix. They have to do all that stuff. Wow. That's dedication. Oh, that's part of the fun. That's Oh, okay. Man, that's a big crocodile. Look at this guy. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, Lyle's demeanor tail. is not quite like... Lyle's demeanor is not quite like Dundee or Sultan. I mean, Dundee or Morton or any of those other crocodiles you see in our Gatorland vlog. Saltwater crocodiles are genuinely hot-tempered animals from jump. Lyle seems to be a calmer Nile crocodile than I've ever seen in my lifetime. Mm. So just looking at him, he seems a lot kind of spikier and more armored than alligators are. Like, you know, can you tell us a little bit about the differences? I know we've covered it before, but for those who are just joining us. Well, the cool thing about the, the alligators and crocodiles, you look in the back and you see all those bumps on their back. Those are scutes or what they call osteoderms. It's a bone plate underneath the skin. 
In those bone plates are tiny holes and through those holes are the blood vessels. That's what causes them to heat up. As they sit in the sun, the sun, the sun rays, the good stuff from the sun goes right into the bloodstream and warms them up because they're cold blooded. While alligators just have those osteoderms, those scutes on the back, whereas crocodiles actually have them all over the body, on the back, some underneath the legs, on the belly, and then down here into the tail, the scutes don't necessarily become, you know, they go from bone to this really, really kind of hard cartilage right here, and it goes all the way down to the tail and stick right up. But crocodiles typically are a lot spikier looking than what alligators are. That's so cool looking. It's like a bunch of shark fins just sticking on their tail there. Yep. And those, so sharp, neat. those sharpen and dull on their own out in the wild from them swimming, hitting their tail against things, and they are super, super sharp there at the end of the tail. Oh, wow. Do we have huh. other questions, cameraman Dan? Uh, someone was asking, just for comparison, how big is Sultan compared to Lyle? Uh, I think Lyle's longer, but I think maybe Sultan weighs a little more because oh, he's a little heftier and older. How old is Sultan? We don't really know, but if I had to guess, I'm guessing he's right around 50. Oh, wow. Yeah, somewhere in there. And still growing. Oh, yeah, they grow, but uh, just like people, when they get older, they get wider instead of longer. I can relate to that too. Yes. I feel can. like Lyle's about to make a big move he, based he's... on the way his feet are behind him. Um, does anybody else want to do any, like this is bittersweet today. We're glad we're with you. We're glad we got to be with you guys all week, but we are going to miss you starting next week when there's no more school of crop. We want to give a big thanks to all the people who've been here with their families and uh, I've gotten annual passes to Gatorland. All the kids we've met through School of Croc, like you guys are part of the Gatorland family now, and we love you guys so much. Absolutely. Does uh -oh. anyone have anything they want to say before Lyle gets us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't get us. I, I just want to say that doing School of Croc's been an incredible experience, and I've met some amazing families, and you know they still write to us. They still come to visit us at the park. Yeah. You know, and it's it's... You know, it's they're not just guests of the park. They're right. our friends, and yeah. we're so happy to see them when they're here. And, uh, you know, we're obviously we're going to mention them in the shout-outs pretty soon. But just thank you all for being a part of School of Croc with us. Safety Shark, you got anything you want to say? Hey, it's a pleasure to keep you all safe. <laughs> Safety Shark, <laughs> thank you for always... See, ah! I didn't even know he had That's my yawn. back. That's a yawn. yawn. Oh, God. Look. Well, I have a yawn. Sa Safety Shark's like, y'all just keep me too busy. <laughs> <laughs> The Happy safety yawn. sharks always got our back, and we appreciate that. Listen, I just hope everybody had a nice, safe, fun spring break, and glad that everybody got to finally get a spring break, because we didn't really have a spring break last year, did we? No, no we it was canceled. Really. Yep. Absolutely true. Yep. So, yep, yep. so I guess we're going we're gonna to round it out now, cameraman Dan, and just know that we love you guys. We can't, you know, if you come to the park anytime soon over Easter vacation or any day of the week, Find us, find me, Danger Danny, Magic Mike Heilman, the boss man, Safety Shark, Cameraman Dan, Brandon. Find any of us and, and come talk to us because we love to meet you guys. It's one of our favorite things that we're honored enough to be able to do here at Gatorland. Shout outs, Cameraman Dan. Here we go. Shout outs to Zach, Gabby, Sean, Anthony, and Joseph and Miss Pina's class. Sebastian and Sadie Rose, Isaiah, the Cali crew, Little Hands Play School, Gianna, Jameson, Ashley, Mickey, Kayla, Kayla, Dana, Reba, Tristan, Bianca, Emma, uh, Ellie, Liam, uh, Eloise, Avram, and Matilda. So many people. And thank you everyone who joined us for School of Croc. And I know you're out there listening, Finn and Nolan. We love you guys too. I, we gave you guys shout outs earlier in the week, but because Finn's mom wrote me last night and said, that uh, Finn thinks we're kindred spirits <laughs> in that we like to both pick on and play tricks on cameraman Dan. Yeah, I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm working on forgiving <laughs> Finn. I'm working on it, but come on, man. We sure do love you guys. Now do us a favor. So there's a lot of good news coming out of Florida and it's not all the crazy news stories. Like this video, love this video, share this video with all your family and friends. I'm not sure when we're gonna do another School of Croc, but I guarantee you that we will. Please go join our Facebook group, School of Croc, and that way you can get updates on all the other fun stuff that's going on in the park. If you get a chance, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gatorland Vlogs. That fuels all of our conservation work that we do here in Florida and in different countries. Um, come over here with me, uh, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, so do you have anything to say? I'm just happy we got to do this this Me week. It's too. sad that it's going away, but like Savannah said, I believe 
wholeheartedly we're going to bring this thing back bigger better than than ever yes. before and you know listen come out and visit travel if you can be safe we'd love to have you and when you get here do everything because it's awesome yeah here do everything <laughs> every day is awesome at gatorland you can learn new stuff every single day meet new friends and family every single day yes. and just thank you guys so much for blessing us and letting us be a part of your life so i don't want to do it <laughs> but bring us on home cameraman dan we will see you again when we see you. Same Croc time, same Croc channel. Bye! Bye.